right, so this is uh, the second this is the second half or second part. We'll probably have a third part as well of today's or this week's lesson. It is essentially a review of three units, the three units that we've covered. Okay, so, um, and we'll, you'll know which units they are as we move through the slides. And you should have your book with you, um, that, which will kind of help you uh, if you need it, or just try to answer, this is my suggestion, try to answer uh, with your voice. Um, say it, say the answer, uh, and then uh, try writing it down on a piece of paper. This is totally the honor system here uh, that you're going to use. You're not going to be tested on your results now. You're just going to kind of reflect and self-assess to see where you are so far. And if you're not really having too much trouble, that's great. You're, you're moving right along as you should be. Okay, so um, try to complete each number. There are about 28 questions, I believe. Um, once, once you go through it, you can, you can look at it again, you can look at these questions, you can pause, whatever you want, but I'm going to pause between each question so that you can kind of um, try to make it as realistic as possible, like a real life situation. Okay, and, and also one more thing, imagine that this is a, a very important quiz. Okay, so uh, of course this is for the intermediate course and uh, answer questions one and two. This is from unit three. Fill in the blank with number three. Hmm. <laughs> All right, yeah, so number three here, you just fill in the blank. For numbers one and two, you just uh, answer the question uh, fully in a complete sentence, like before. So, question number one. How often do you brush your teeth? How often do you brush your teeth? Complete sentence. What's the best way to answer that? What's true for you? Number two. How often do you eat too much? How often do you eat too much? Number three, do you get up before 7 a.m.? Do you, what word is most suitable for this space? And, so you're, you're completing the question, but you can also answer it. You can answer this question as well. You can answer it vocally, like where people can hear you, or you can write it down. You can talk to somebody, whatever uh, you think is most, most appropriate for the situation that you're in. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Try to extend your answer or the statement with but, okay? So looking at number four, I always want to go to the theater with my friends, but, so you may want to go into unit three and review this a little bit and see how it's done because you may not know what to do with this. So basically, it could be a number of answers. The answers can vary widely. Okay, so that's number one. Sorry, that's number four. Number five. My teacher is often kind to me, but how would you complete that sentence? with but. How would you extend that? 
And this is very important to be able to extend your ideas with more language that is meaningful. Number six, my mother usually makes my lunch for me, but what's true for you? If, if, she, if she never makes lunch for you, you may have to make up a story. <laughs> but uh, I assume, I would assume that your mother uh, does make uh, your lunch for you pretty often. Or dinner, maybe. Okay, next slide. Okay, so this is the... Um, this is the last slide for unit three. So let's have a look. Uh, so, so, and try to guess the question on this slide. So this is kind of similar to the examples I gave you about Mount Everest and President Moon and how this game Jeopardy is played. Remember, it's he gives you the answer. I'm giving you the answer. What's the question? So, question. I usually go to bed at midnight. What would the question be? You can write it down or you can say it. It's good to also write it down. In fact, I'm recommending that you write this down as well. Okay? Write it down. Number eight. Question. What's the question? I like to eat pizza on the weekend. Okay, what's the question? Okay, now, um, this is unit number six. Uh, some of these questions are very important because they're common questions, especially if you are, for example, getting to know somebody for the first time. So let's have a look at uh, questions one and two from unit six. Where are you from? So how would you answer that question if someone asked you, where are you from? How do you do that? Number two, what are your hobbies? Uh, actually, these question marks shouldn't be there. It should be a period. So it's a little typo there. <laughs> but uh, where are you from? Answer the question. Don't ask a question. And what are your hobbies? Answer the question. In a complete sentence. Okay, the, the lettering is a little bit smaller here, but uh, more questions that you hear when you get to know someone for the first time. Getting to know you questions. Where did you grow up? How would you answer that question with perfect English? How would you do that? Speak it or write it down. Number four, how many are there in your family? How many are there in your family? Okay, that's a tricky one. A lot of former students have kind of struggled a little bit with this one. So how can you make this uh, answer very um, accurate in terms of grammar and very correct? How would a native speaker answer that question? Okay, more of unit six. Okay, here we go. Where did you go on your last vacation? Where did you go on your last vacation? Okay, now your last vacation may have been quite a long time ago. Um, and I've had students say, I've never gone on vacation. Why? I can't believe that. I mean, a vacation could be a trip to Seoul. Okay. So everybody's gone somewhere. That's a vacation. So and it could only be, it may only be an overnight thing. So where did you go on your last vacation? Complete sentence. Number six. 
when did you leave? Or when did you go? Okay? Complete sentence again. No, not one word, complete sentence. Number seven. When did you come back? When did you come back? Okay, so what are we looking at here? We're really looking at the past tense, aren't we? So be thinking in terms of verb past tense. How do you change the verb, the root? How do you conjugate, that's the big word, the verb to make your, um, your language uh, your structure, your language accurate, your word formation accurate. Okay, we're going to pause right now because we're, I only have just a few seconds left on this particular stretch of video, so I'll get back to um, question number eight.